All rise. I want viewers watching my show to believe in themselves. Judge Hatchet is compelling. I was not the first one to throw a walk. Let me just tell you what you just said. Compassionate. I really enjoy being a judge. Now I am touching people who I will never know I touched. She's powerful. You should have never let them walk out of your life when she was three. And she's on the bench. Don't get me preaching up in here today. Right. You're watching The Verdict with Judge Hatchet. Michelle Franklin is suing Brian Denson in the amount of $820. Ms. Franklin claims she was on a date with Mr. Denson when he snuck out and stuck her with the bill. Mr. Denson says he left early because he wasn't feeling well, but claims Ms. Franklin misrepresented herself in her online dating profile. Good day, Ms. Franklin, you are suing Mr. Denson. Yes, I'm suing I, for $820. $820. Yes. How did you meet the defendant? Well, we met on a dating app. Um, we talked for about three days. I really, I looked his pictures. I thought he looked pretty nice. And um, through the conversation, we had a lot in common. And so we arranged a time to meet uh, for dinner. And we met, we talked, we talked for I want to say about a good hour, hour 15 minutes, and I really liked the guy. Um, and then as the date continued, he said, oh, okay, um, well, I'm feeling a little upset. I need to go to the bathroom. I said, okay, that's fine. So what was the agreement, though, when you all went out on the date? Yeah, would, so he, the would he treat you for dinner? Were you going to pick up the tab? Mm -hmm. what, was gonna, what was the arrangement before so the, you got to the restaurant? Yeah, of course. The arrangement was, um, well, I suggested that we split it 50-50. Um, I just think it's fair that way. I, I'm a pretty progressive woman, so I don't really like the idea of the man always buying um, the meal. So I said 50-50 is fair. That he seemed agreed. fair, particularly exactly. since this was your first date. Yeah, exactly. And he, he agreed to it. Did um, you agree to that? I did, Your Honor. Yes. You did. So mm -hmm. this was a date, first date, and she says that you all met on a dating app. Is mm -hmm. that correct? Yes, that's correct. Now, but the complaint says that you all actually had had an encounter before you all saw each other on the dating app, that you yes. were providing car services yes, and she Honor. was your client? Yes, so what happened was I do ride share as okay. a driver to earn extra income on the side. All right. Um, she was apparently one of my passengers. Um, I then, didn't really get a good look at her when I was driving her. Um, three days later, we match on Tinder. She says that I gave her a ride. I said, okay, cool. That I, must have been interesting. You are both on this dating app, and mm -hmm. she says, well, wait a minute. Actually, I know you because you were my driver. Yes. Wow. But I did not recognize her. I probably pick up about 10 to 15 people a day. So That's fair. Okay. We matched. She was beautiful, seemed like a really cool, down-to-earth person. Uh, we messaged for about three days, and I think we had a pretty good connection. The and you agree with that? You oh, yeah. said that? Oh, yes. Good connection. Yes. So yes. things are going great? Mm -hmm. Amazing. Swimmingly. Oh, okay. Um, so I recommend Superb in Malibu. Okay. We get there. She shows up 20 minutes late. Okay, fine. You know, traffic. I understand. I am a driver. When she arrives, it is not the same person from the app, Your Honor. She no, was this kicked is out. In full makeup. This is really interesting. So it wasn't the same person. Yes. That was on the app. I mean, Your Honor, I, I would can, like to say. I'm sorry. Can I finish? Thank you. Yeah. Go ahead. This person you're seeing right here, and is not the same person I had the date with. She was caked out in full makeup. Was rude. Would give me one-word answers. She made me feel uncomfortable as well. She would ask me these really personal questions. Well, let's back up. The person who showed up for the date was not the person in the profile. I mean, I mean, technically they are the same person, but it's like she has two personalities or something. Okay, so she didn't look different. She looked different and acted different, Your Honor. She looked different and she acted different. Yes. And so different personality from the three days that you all had had some conversations. Yeah. On the phone. Yes, and that's And you began correct. to tell me. You said she was rude. Yes. She had one word answers. Anything else? She was rude not only to me, to the waitress, to the bartender. I mean, it was just a nightmare. It was a nightmare? Uh, yeah, I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed 
to be there. I was super uncomfortable. It was the date from hell, Your Honor. It was the date from hell. It was. Thank oh you. Oh my goodness. We go from things were going swimmingly, is what he told me. Yeah. <laughs> going swimmingly. Uh, to the date from hell. What in the world happened? First off, I would like to say, I don't know what he means that I'm a completely different person. I mean, I didn't post any pictures on my dating profile as blonde hair, five foot 10 model. And so for him to say that I look like a completely different person, and you know, I like to switch it up. So first date, I'm gonna wear my best wig. I'm gonna beat my face. I'm gonna look good. So the people know what beat your face means. That means lots of makeup. Yeah, exactly. Too much and makeup, so, if you ask me. Okay, well, and so it's a first date. So of course I'm gonna wanna look good. And so, and sometimes I wanna make my hair a little bit more natural. I wanna have a more natural face, but for a good night, I wanna look good. And so I put on my best dress, my best wig, beat face, and I thought that it would be something that he'd say, okay, so she likes to she likes to present herself. But apparently, I presented myself too much. Coming up on The Verdict with Judge Hatchett. When she called her waitress an idiot, oh that was warning sign two. Um, when bad. she asked me how many sexual partners I had, that oh. was warning sign three. This person here was not the person I went on the date with. Closed captioning provided by if you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6878. You're watching The Verdict with Judge Hatchett. The Verdict with Judge Hatchett is back with the case of Michelle Franklin, who is suing Brian Denson for $820. So he says that you were rude, that you were rude to the waiter, that you were rude that you were answering questions with one word answers. I mean, what was going on? See, as a woman, I feel like it's common for people to say that I'm rude. By the way, as a woman, it's well, common like, for people to say you're rude. Because in this, you know, in like the film industry, I work in the film industry, and so being a strong woman, people would say, oh, she's rude. I'm a strong woman. People don't call me rude, do they? Cesar? No. Okay. No, Even behind my back? No. You sure? Okay. I've Just never making found sure. You rude. All right. I, I consider myself a very strong woman. Mm -hmm. And you are. But I don't think people call me rude. And, and so I want to be careful that yeah, we don't do our own self sabotage mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. that we then define ourselves in boxes. Mm -hmm. So there are enough people in the world who can do that for us. Mm -hmm. But as women, we've got to be careful that you don't say that because I'm a woman, people define me as rude. Exactly. Either you're rude or you're not. Were exactly. you rude? No. Okay. I'm a very, I'm a, like, I'm a very strong person. Okay. The waitress just got one of our orders incorrectly. I said, excuse me, this isn't what we ordered. I'm sorry, could you just take it back? And I reiterated what we ordered. She said, fine, no problem. Um, I would like to apologize if I came across as rude to her, but to me, I don't think I was rude. Okay, I, so yeah. now let's get back to this profile. Yeah. I understand that you have a copy of her profile. I do, Your Honor. I would like to see that, please. Of course, Your Honor. Because what I'm hearing you say, and you're trying to be very diplomatic about this, I think, is that it was a bait and switch. Yeah, I... Is that I, really I, what you're saying to me? I mean, let's just be honest. Is that what you're telling me? Yes, Your Honor. I got catfished, honestly. But that looks like me, right? In the photos, they, they look like me, don't they? Well, now it does, but at the date, it did not. Oh, see, I thought it was just the opposite. I thought that she had a different look in the profile and looked different in person. Exactly. Yes. But she looks like she looks on this. Right now, she does. But on the day of the oh. date... It was not this. This was not the person that was there. But on on the date, I I was the person. I just had more done up makeup and hair. And you just tried to glam it up a little exactly. bit. Exactly. See, I really thought what he was gonna say is, oh, judge, she had this profile picture that was just glammed off the charts, and that's what I was expecting. And then she comes in very different, but it's just the opposite. Mm -hmm. You were really naturally who mm -hmm. you are in the courtroom today on this profile, but you glammed it up for dinner. Exactly. But that didn't seem to be the real problem, or was it? Well, that was warning sign one, if you warning will. Warning sign one. 
Well, warning sign one. So there were other warning signs. Yes. Two, three. How many? Lots. Well, when she called her waitress an idiot, oh my. that was warning sign two. Yeah. Um, that's when bad. she asked me how many sexual partners I had, that Oops. was warning sign three. Ooh, yes, that was. It be... just kept getting worse and worse, and it's. I feel lied to. It's like this person here was not the person I went on the date with. Okay, so let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Let's just cut down to the bottom line. You were suing for eight hundred and twenty dollars, yeah. right? Yeah. How in the world? If this was the date from hell, did you all run up a bill for $820? I'm glad you asked. Um, so I have the receipt with me. And so what happened was, well, I was late. So, and I told him because I was just getting ready. And I said, hey, I'm running late, traffic. Go ahead and order um, any appetizers because I, I didn't have much to eat. He said, OK, fine. And so we got there. He ordered a few of the appetizers, uh, one of the grilled, ex grilled asparagus. Um, he ordered a drink, $20, Dream Island Berry. And then I highlighted on my re receipt bill, he ordered a tomahawk, $150. I saw that. I was like, OK, fine by me. All right, so this is, let's just make sure that everybody's right. following this. Right. This was the date that you all were supposed to split. Yes. And he left. Yes. So we call it kind of ditch and dine. Yes. He just dined and he left. Yes. And he also ordered another expensive meal. Uh, caviar Grand Reserve, $400. Champagne bottle, $160. And so, and so the reason why I'm asking him for $820, I didn't expect him to spend so much money on food in general, especially on his meal specifically. Coming up. I was violently ill. She called me 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. I would have called you every five minutes if exactly. you ducked out. In fact, you better be glad I didn't look for you outside. Closed captioning provided by. You're watching The Verdict with Judge Hatchett. The Verdict with Judge Hatchett is back with the case of Michelle Franklin, who is suing Brian Denson for $820. How much was the whole bill that night? The whole bill, including the tax, is $1,375.92. Oh my goodness! I mean, and I've gone he, to some of the most wonderful restaurants right. in the entire world. And he didn't leave you, right? Right, no. Your no. Honor, if I may. No. She was 15 minutes late, and I ordered most of this before she got there. I was expecting to have a nice night, you know, drink some nice champagne, have can a you afford, good... Can you afford a $1,500 dinner? Yes, Your Honor. I was fully expecting to pay for it, and that's why I brought her out to this restaurant specifically. You were expecting to pay for the whole bill? Yes. Well, we agreed on half. I know. So, I... Look, Your Honor, what happened was it was the date from hell. I kept flagging over the waitress. Every time the waitress came over, she ordered something new, and something new, and something new. And the reason why I kept ordering something new is because from my perspective, I thought the day was going well. If this was the day from hell, why did you keep ordering all of these items? No, because I ordered all of that before she got there. She was 15 minutes late. She told me to go ahead and order. Wait, 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 wait. You ordered all of that in 15 minutes? <laughs> yes. Coming up. I was violently ill. She called me 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. I would have called you every five minutes if exactly. you ducked out. In fact, you better be glad I didn't look for you outside. Closed captioning provided by. You're watching The Verdict with Judge Hatchett. The Verdict with Judge Hatchett is back with the case of Michelle Franklin, who is suing Brian Denson for $820. So I'm still struggling with how this got to be thirteen seventy-five. Do you have the itemized? I did. Yes. Let me see that. Yeah, of course. And so um, the in-between were just orders of um, appetizers for uh, because I thought the meal was going good, so I just kept ordering <laughs> more appetizers. And ordering and ordering, Your Honor. But I feel like <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh 
my goodness. Oh, that's what it was. It was the tomahawk. The tomahawk. For $150. Right, right. Yes. Yeah. This just goes on and on and on and on. What do you do for a living, Brian? I am a photographer. You're a photographer. Are you sure that you didn't just decide that you were going to go in and get a really expensive dinner? Yes, And Your just Honor. walk out? Yes. Um, so Have you ever done that before? No, You're Your under Honor. oath. You no, have never ordered expensive items for dinner and left the other person paying the check? No. Never? Never. This is... And why do you think it's okay to have done it this time? So what happened was I had the steak and it really upset my stomach. So I excused myself to the bathroom. I got physically ill. I felt embarrassed. The date was going horribly. So I went home. Why didn't you just go to the maitre d' and say, here is my credit card. I'm not feeling well. This is a date from hell. And I just want to gracefully leave, but let me pay the check. Does that seem reasonable? I admit I could have handled it better, but I just, I wanted to go home. I wanted to lie in bed. I just did not want to be there anymore. So when, when she called you after you duck out and didn't pay the bill, why not say, you know what? I know that we agreed to split this and let me get, let me make this right. Let me get my half to you. Because I was violently ill. She called me 10 minutes, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. I would have called you every five minutes if exactly. you ducked out on because a $1,500 we... bill. Right. I would have called you too. In fact, you better be glad I didn't look for you outside. Judge Hatchett's verdict when we return. Promotional consideration provided by. You're watching The Verdict with Judge Hatchett. What do you think I'm going to do? I'm fully expecting to pay for it, yes. You are? I am. Oh, good. <laughs> good. Just... That's real good. <laughs> that may be a first for us, Caesar. It is well, a first. I think that's a first for us. So oh, I'm really expecting to pay for it. Your well, you should have paid for it before today. Your Honor, I just request that she stop calling me. She oh, stopped... she's not going to call you. Trust me. She's not going to call you. <laughs> you know what? Not only are you going to pay the 820 because you were such a you-know-what about the whole situation. I don't believe you were sick. I don't believe you just left the building. You could have made arrangements with the maitre d', the waiter. You could have settled this that evening, even if you were sick and you just didn't want to see her anymore. There are certain things called human decency. You. So you know what? You're going to pay for the whole entire night. $1,375.92 judgment for the plaintiff. All rise. Judge Hatchett has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant is ordered to pay $1,375. Next time, don't dine in ditch and just be a man and communicate. The issue was never the bill. The issue is you look nothing like your profile. This has been a production of Entertainment Studios.